All right, let's talk weather here at Meteorologist Greg Fields. You've got a lot going on on that 14-day forecast. Yeah, we, we do, actually. The uh, rain <laughs> changes, and it gets chilly next week yes. as we head into Halloween. So we'll get to that here okay, in just a okay. bit. But yeah, those are rain chances. We do have a plenty of those in the uh, forecast as well. Again, not everyone seeing rain today, but we do have the scattered showers out there. Cloud cover, it has rolled in. You can see taking you out to the UNT campus and those wind turbines spinning around a little bit uh, as well here late this morning as we head toward midday. So it will be a little breezy with those uh, South and southeast winds for us, but 77 degrees taking you out to UNT right now with the cloudy skies there this morning and heading over to Cedar Hill. You're at 74, but you see those low clouds have rolled in. And again, we will see some light rain from time to time. Spotty it has been so far, but some of that has pushed into the Metroplex now as we look at radar out toward DFW Airport, South Lake, moving over toward between Fort Worth and Saginaw right now, looking at a little light rain. So this is what we're going to have now. And I think as we get into the afternoon, rain chances increasing a little bit more. So again, not everyone seeing rain today, not anticipating anything strong or severe, but that's some embedded thunderstorms can't be ruled out, especially now you can see that cluster of showers out toward a Tyler Jacksonville down toward Palestine and Athens, and I think this will increase in coverage in this area too, maybe hitting down I 45 as we get into the afternoon as well. So this is what we're going to have around for the yeah, next up few hours heading into the afternoon and with the cloud cover and the chance for showers hanging around that will keep those temperatures for us today around 80 degrees. We will get into some lower 80s outside those rain areas, maybe not getting out of the 70s in those places where we do have a little bit better chance and we, where we do see the rain here as we go through the day today. So that always plays a factor in the uh, temperatures with the cloud cover and rain chances. But here's our time cast heading home later today. A little bit better chance for those scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms and some uh, heavier downpours can't be ruled out in some areas here for that afternoon commute. So keep that in mind. Still the better chances are going to be out over our west and that's where they will stay for today heading on into tonight right on into the early part of tomorrow. So this is around 10 p.m. Still going to be looking at some isolated to scattered activity around. You see the better chances in our western counties as we head into later this evening, and that will be the case overnight tonight as well with those rain chances staying mainly in our western counties. And this is the area over the next few days. We will have those best chance for the rainfall totals. We'll show you those coming up here in just a bit, but mainly dry. I think for the morning commute tomorrow, but again, we will have at least a chance for those scattered showers and storms hanging around. We'll bump them up to about a 60% coverage Wednesday and Thursday. Even more rain chances as we head into Friday. The upcoming weekend as well. I think even on Saturday and Sunday and those the temperatures are going to stay right around 80 degrees for us. So here's what it looks like on the satellite radar composite. The cloudy skies, the widespread showers and storms a little farther south and west. Plenty of Pacific moisture streaming in and that low level moisture moving in off the Gulf. So I do think as we continue to heat up getting into the afternoon, we'll have at least some isolated to scattered showers and storms hanging around. And as we go through the week, those rain chances will continue kind of off and on heading into Tuesday. You see on Wednesday as well, better chances again out to our west and then eventually on Thursday, better chances for the showers and storms it starts to taper off a little bit late Thursday, but then on Friday we'll still see some scattered rain and storms around. Here comes the front that will bring in some cooler air for us. Eventually that's going to be early next week and it is going to get chilly as we head into the early part of next week. But as far as that rainfall, the forecast is concerned. You can see those uh, two, three inch rainfall totals in our western counties as we get out toward Graham, Decatur, Bowie, over toward Gainesville. Around one to two, those who come down into the Metroplex and about a half to maybe up, up, upwards of an inch in our southeastern counties. So not everyone will see significant rain, but at least there's a chance for all of North Texas. Now, here's that 14 day forecast for you. Going through the end of the week, we're looking at highs in the lower 80s, upper 70s over the weekend, and then the that chilly air spills into the area as we head into Halloween. Look at these daytime highs early next week, not getting out of the 60s for us and those overnight lows dipping down into the 40s. So we'll hopefully that does hold up for us.